How's it going guys? Welcome back to Just Ignore Them. We just fled from the hotel, found out that our dad is a horrible, terrifying, twisted monster. Don't know what's going on at all. We have as little information as, as Bria here does. Not a clue, really. So, where are we headed next? Huh? Oh no, you said you wanted to lift to the next city. Well, the truth is, I really have nowhere else to go. So, that explains how you ended up in the middle of nowhere. Well, yes and no. Oh? My so-called boyfriend left me there. Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> Here's to you, Jason. You finally got rid of me. That doesn't sound too welcoming. So, where are we going? To see an old friend of mine. He said he may have found an explanation to all of this. What's his name? It's Dan. Is he like a scientist or something? Yeah, kinda. His dad was one. Now his dad is a unicorn. You know, dads change. Do you think you can explain what happened to your father? I hope so. Otherwise, I don't know what else to do. Cheer up, Mark. I'm sure you can help him. He can't be helped. I'm sure he wasn't always a monster. Okay, oh, there's some twitchy head shit going on. He was. Only, now we can really see him for what he is. The bastard. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mark. If it helps, my dad was a deadbeat, too. Never cared about me. All he cared about was his sports and gambling. My dad left us for no reason. Not even a phone call. Could it be that he left because he was changed into a monster? Maybe he'd be a little bit more forgiving of that as an explanation? There must have been a reason for him to leave, Mark. I don't care anymore. I just want him to stop following me. Why? Maybe he just wants to talk to you again. You saw what he did to that guy back there. He wasn't the first guy to die, either. You weren't kidding when you said trouble follows you everywhere. <laughs> this bartender must just be like, are these guys talking about murders and monsters? I'm just going to sit here and keep cleaning this glass. It's not clean enough yet. You know, I've seen some pretty weird things before, too. I bet you've never seen anything like that before. Well, not exactly. When I was a kid, me and my friends used to love exploring. We loved solving mysteries. My hometown was riddled with them. I remember Jason and I found this old abandoned church once. There was the weirdest ghost thing you ever saw in there. It had the longest arms. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. And yet you believe in monsters? Touché. I'll pay for the drinks. Are you sure? I don't mind paying. It's fine. It saves you an excuse to try and hit on me. And what makes you think I want to? I can tell. He keeps staring at me every now and then. Well, you're the only other person in the bar other than the bartender. Don't flatter yourself, Bria. If you say so. We made it to the airport. They're still following me. But why Bria? Why are you still following me? What's so interesting about me? Ah, you have monsters for parents. That tends to spark an interest. Maybe this was a mistake. I just hope nothing happens to her. Is that... I, the, there's a guy right in the middle row there towards the back who's wearing uh, a toque of sorts. And I think he might be from the game... Mini Thief, which I haven't played, but is another game by Stranga that I know I have seen, like, thumbnails of or seen it pop up in Steam lists and things like that. I think that is a little reference. Makes me wonder if other characters here are as well. Comfortable, Mark? Huh? Oh, yes, very. How did you manage to get business class? Are you kidding? I'm a girl, that's how. <laughs> Typically not that simple. <laughs> not bad, Bria. So... Tell me more about your dad. Why? Because I'm interested, duh. What do you want to know? What was he like when you were a kid? There's not much to tell. Why? There wasn't much to remember? My mom always said his excuse was his work. He never had any time for me or her. What did he do for work? He was a scientist. A, s a scientist! There's so many typos in this game. <laughs> a scientist, you say? Yeah, 
Have you ever heard of the LAPD? They're police officers. Has nothing to do with scientists. I don't know why I chose to use that as a segue. I'm not sure. What does LAPD mean? Oh, it's the Life After Death Project. Oh, I guess LADP. LADP. My brain just automatically wanted to read PD, I guess. Oh, that's the thing that was on the news a while ago. 20 years ago. Shocked you remember. It's not really like recent information. <laughs> you were probably like a baby. Don't know why you were watching so much of the daily news cycle at the time. He was involved with it. He was always at the lab. But my mom would always set out dinner for him. We watched his food go cold every night. Maybe at that point you just let him reheat it, I think. It's probably not worth dishing it out. What is the Life After Death Project? I don't know. That's why I'm going to see Dan. His dad and mine worked on the same project. I'm just hoping he knows something. Do you really know this Dan guy? No, but surprisingly he knows a lot about me. I called him a while ago. He said my dad always spoke highly of me. But I don't know how. He barely knew me. That's not your fault, Mark. It was my fault. I must have been such a disappointment as a kid. Your dad left when you were like four years old, man. You gotta set your bar lower at the, that age. If you can count to like six and you're not continually picking your nose, you're probably like riding the curve a little bit. I'm sorry, Mark. I shouldn't have asked so many questions. Forget it. Uh, it was good to get it off my chest. That's good. I really need to pee. The same way I like to to announce my need to use the washroom as well. My knee to pee. If the game's gonna have this many obvious typos, I'm gonna I'm gonna rail on it a bit. Oh, do you want me to come with you? You know, in case something happens. That's so fucking weird, man. I don't know if she realizes that she's currently at risk of your monster dad. As far as she knows, he only attacks people who threaten you. So it's a weird thing to offer. I'll be fine, Mark. Okay. Just wait right here. I'll be back soon. And then she never returned. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting to switch up who I was controlling. I should definitely, should definitely save. Got nothing to say. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. N not even the shifty guy. Uh, everyone everyone else is a passenger. And then th there's obviously Mark. But then we have shifty guy. So he's he's the one who's coming from Mini Thief. Plain front. Plain economy. Let's go see what all the scrubs are back to up here. Oh, apparently this entire plane is business class. That's... That's a good scam that you could run. Tell everyone who's in the cheap seats that they're in business class and then call business class premium or something. What a what a scam. Strange passenger. Look at the way he's reading that paper like a straight up psycho. I really need a smoke. Hopefully no one will catch me in the bathroom. I better cover up that smoke detector though. Come on, Bria, you can't go like a couple hours without a cigarette. I've always kind of wondered how people who have a smoking addiction deal with airplanes and stuff. It must just suck. You must just try and plan your flight, set your smoking right before you get on, and as soon as you get off. And it just seems like a miserable way to live. Uh, can't do anything with the lock, the plane rear. Another lock. I, I'm apparently going to have to puzzle my way through some of these locking mechanisms. So desperate for a smoke that we're... Call cutscene? Does that, is this labeled accidentally, like the way this is an electronic lock? And then probably within the game's files, it's also called an electronic lock. And I think this, like, if I, if or when I get to there, there's going to be like a phone call, and this will be where the call cutscene takes place. It seems like that's not supposed to be how that is set up. But yeah, I just, the smoking habits just seem like they suck. Seem hard to deal with. That is such a massive smoke detector. Oh, I, I have I have duct tape, for God knows what reason. That, there we go. That should work. I legit have no idea why or how I have that. <laughs> Taking a smoke sitting on the sink, pee right in the sink, just totally screw up the entire systems in the airplane. Why not? If you're gonna smoke, you might as well break a few other rules too. Christ, I needed that. After two, another two hours until we land. 
and this is my last smoke. Man, you would come out of the bathroom just reeking like smoke. It would be so obvious. Hopefully I can last till then. Ugh. Why did he lie to me? He gave me the videotape. Why shouldn't I trust him? I better head back. I, I'm not clear what part she currently thinks is a lie. Like about what precisely it was. I was in the shower with her. Uh, hiding the thing about her, his monster dad. I don't know if that's... I mean, it's a lie by omission. But I think it would be a weird thing to share. What the hell? Where did everyone go? Where did you go, Mark? I need help. No, cheese it. Let's get the hell out of here. Maybe everyone just shuffled. Maybe they all got upgraded. Maybe they're in those new premium seats I've heard so much about. Uh, can't do anything with any of the lockers. Oh, I, I didn't even try. The overhead storage above is locked. Uh, I don't... I don't have the ability to use that. Can't do anything with the emergency phone. What good is it then when you're in an emergency? Well, if I go back, is Strange Guy still going to be there? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Yes? Hello? Can I help you? Thank God, there's someone still flying this thing. What's that? There seems to be a problem. All the passengers have gone. That's impossible. Where would they go? There's no passengers. I'm serious. Calm down, ma'am. Can you address your concern with the gentleman in the economy class? What? Why can't you help me? Someone needs to fly the plane, ma'am. He'll be able to help you with your concerns. So he's like a flight attendant or whatever, but he's he's the only one, and they stuck him in, in economy class for the whole flight? Fine. That man in economy. Hopefully he's still there. Yeah, the like ratio of people who were originally there who were no longer there is quite high so I, you would have a reasonable doubt there oh thank god you're still here wait why didn't you disappear may i help you ma'am oh yes please you see everyone has ma'am please calm down you're hyperventilating you're right sorry okay everyone's gone <laughs> what have we landed already no, we're still flying and everyone's gone. Calm down, miss. Weird to suddenly flip to having, like, a portrait for him. Bria, my name's Bria. Who are you anyway? Neeson, I'm the air marshal. So you're a cop? Good. Can you help me figure out what the hell is going on? Slow down. What do you mean everyone's gone? I'm not going to say it again. Just please do something. Well, none of the crew have notified me about any missing people. What do you mean? There is no crew. It means I'm not going to believe you that easy, Bria. Just stand up and walk like the seven meters to the next part of the plane, dude. If you can prove to me why I should get out of my seat, I'll believe you. That's some bullshit fallacy logic. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> Everyone's a jerk, Bria. But I'm one of the few that's not afraid to show it. That's such a... Ooh, I hate people like that. I'm just being honest. I just tell it like it is. Now you're an asshole. <laughs> Most people don't want to hear it. Ah, uh, maybe I can just find a weapon. I can just, like, force him out of his seat. Just wave a gun around or something. There's probably not just a gun lying around anywhere in this plane, but if there is, then that, that should get his attention fairly quickly. Please don't waste my time, miss. A jerk? Five, just try that one more time. Just pester him a little bit. Hello, Captain. Mr. Pilot, are you still there? J just a sec, ma'am. Damn it. The overhead storage won't lock again. Stupid console. Uh, hello? Yes, ma'am. Did you resolve your problem? Uh, no, because everyone is still missing. And your guy back there is a bit of a jerk, the air marshal. I've taken it that you've met Neeson. <laughs> I've taken it that you've Neeson. He really is an experience. He de he deserves like a verb to go along with it. Ah, uh, yes, Neeson is busy Neesoning back there. Yeah, the air marshal. Did he address your concern? He said he wouldn't help me until I have proof of the situation. Yeah, he's one of a kind. Look, ma'am, please address your concerns from now on to the staff. Also, please do not smoke in the bathrooms. We can see you. Thanks for nothing. No problem. How do you know it's this woman? I guess you could... If you can see the bathroom, 
and you can see her here to know that it's the same person who was in the bathroom, then you could probably see that no one is left on the plane. Think about that. Also, the fact that you can see into the bathroom, mm, I don't know, do airplanes have warnings that it's like, you're on camera? Because like, you would probably want to have stuff like that in case someone like collapsed or fainted or something, right? You would want to be able to view that. But digital camera. <laughs> I'll use this to show Neeson some proof. Shit, there's not much battery left on this thing. I need to take the photo now. I, I doubt there's anything else up there, but that that is a pretty quick, convenient way to, to showcase that this shit is not going well. Great. Camera's almost dead. Please stay alive so I can show Neeson. <laughs> I'm so used to saying that cameras or batteries will die. I'm not used to saying or hearing, uh, stay alive, but it, I guess that is the inverse. Here. Here's your proof. Let me see that. It's a broken camera. What? No, oh, it must have ran out of batteries. Calm down, Bria. I believe you. Really? Why? Why you were gone? While? While you were gone, I radioed through to the cockpit and spoke with the pilot. You did? Oh, thank God, there's still a pilot flying this plane. But I didn't recognize the voice. What does that mean? It means I don't know who's flying this plane right now. Is he, he is reading a newspaper, right? For a second I was like, is he just wearing some bulky, weird vacation sh shirt? But I guess you can see what he's wearing in his portrait there a little bit more clearly. Set down the paper, man. I think you're starting to grasp the situation, yet you're so committed to reading this. What should we do? Just stay here while I investigate. But I have to find my friend, Mark. Just stay here for now. <sighs> I can't wait for Neeson. I have to find Mark now, and I'll do it with my trusty dead digital camera. I kind of, I feel like I have to keep returning to the same areas. Oh, I accidentally interrupted that. Hey, Bria, are you there? Neeson, where is your voice coming from? I'm using the PA system. I need you to come to the cockpit. There's something you need to see. I have a bad feeling about this. I should see Neeson first. If he's telling you to come to the cockpit, uh, he's aware that the passengers are gone by this point. The pilot doesn't sound like who they should be. What are we walking into here? Neeson, what's going on? Where the fuck are the pilots? That's what I wanted to show you. There's no one flying this plane. Shit, shit, shit. The pilot was right here. I spoke to him about 15 minutes ago. Interesting. What is? The man or should I say pilot, that spoke with you. Did he know my name? Yeah, he did. Doesn't he need to know your name? He does, but... But? I only met him a few hours before takeoff. He called me Nelson twice and Nathan once. So what does that mean? How can he remember me now, of all the times? Maybe he wrote it down or something. Bria, that wasn't the pilot you were speaking to. Who was it? I don't know. We should find out who can fly this thing. Autopilot won't last forever. Can't you fly this plane? All I can do is arrest it. Of all the times, you crack the wise-ass jokes now? Did you check the luggage compartment yet? No, I haven't. Except for that time that I did. Tell me what you find. I'm at a radio for instructions. Okay. For a second, I was thinking there was like a double meaning of arresting. Like, if you were to arrest the flight of a plane, you would bring the, it to a halt or whatever. He's just joking about the fact that he's just there to, like, lay down the law, slap the cuffs on the plane. I thought he was being genuinely helpful. Nope, turns out he's still a prick and that he was just joking around. I don't need that. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I, we don't need Neeson. Neeson's a plug. Let's totally ignore him. That's the title of the game. Just ignore Neeson. He is them. It's it's funny how things still get labeled digital camera in situations like that. It's like the game doesn't really update its stuff very well because it, it doesn't expect you to return to areas, I suppose. Okay. What the hell? I'm here? What happened? Is he dead? Mark. Is that you? Did you suddenly turn blonde and change your coat before you died? It's not him. 
Okay. That might be Mark, though, seeing as we're so bad at identifying him. What is that thing? Stay away. Please don't kill me. Uh... <laughs> huh? I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. Priya, yeah, can you hear me? Come to the voice comm box in front of you. Yeah, there's a lot of d dead shit going on. Mutilated corpses all over. I don't know, man. It's it's a mess back here. Oh, can I can I go through there all of a sudden? Ah, there we go. Here's the call cutscene that we were waiting for. Bria, did you find anything? Yes, I, I did. But you're not going to believe me. I was just attacked by a monster. Mm, focus on the dead body would be my, my recommendation. A monster? Yeah, a monster. What did this monster look like? It was huge. It had these tubes coming out of its head and, and a big smile. Huh. That didn't look like what I saw. Huh? I saw something run through the cockpit not too long ago. And I thought it was a cat or something, but it had a little white face with red glowing eyes. Oh, good. There's more of them. Then that's not good. What do we do now? See if we can find any survivors. I'm going to try and get in contact with the control tower. Okay. That sounds like uh, the, the beginning of a plan. <laughs> it's not a lot of a plan. Uh, nope. As if anyone in their right mind would follow that trail. I should just tell Neeson there's nothing down here. Bria. Bria, is that you? I, li I, like, I like that there was like the logic that they went against normal movie tropes or whatever. And she was just like... Fuck no, <laughs> I'm not investigating that. Mark, Mark, you down here? I guess I'll have to follow the trail then. I just hope this isn't Mark's blood. What about this little fort that looks like someone was building? Doesn't I can't actually interact with any of that. Mark, he's trapped. Perhaps I can climb across the one box I'm allowed to interact with for some unknown reason. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit, I didn't even realize there was, like, a thing there. I just thought some inanimate thing was hanging out. That must be the thing Neeson mentioned. What's this? A candy bar? Must have dropped it. Where are you, Mark? What's in here? Maybe I can get Neeson to open it? I better see if he's okay. If Neeson's okay or Mark, because I'm pretty concerned about Mark at the moment. The vent? No, he can't. Candy? I can't just lure it out here. It would come back in the vent while I'm in there. I need to knock it out somehow. Neeson mentioned he was sensitive to light. W down. What does that say? I, I feel like I haven't... That was anticipating that I had spoken to Neeson already at that point, which I just haven't. <laughs> so I don't really know what that was about. Uh, I don't remember him mentioning light in the original thing about the cockpit. Like, that looks like something is written there. But I, I, I can't quite make anything important out oh i can't i can't call the the pilot comms from here i guess i just have to go actually talk to him there's something running through the vents well what do you mean by that a mouse what was the thing you saw earlier that was that it's probably nothing what what do you mean nothing you were very keen to tell shh what do you mean by shh i mean shh Look under the co-pilot seat. Slowly turn around. That was a fast, fast spin. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that was so weird to just suddenly cut away like that. Neeson, what do we do? Neeson, what do we do? It's oh, okay. It sounds just like me. It sounds just like me. Just ignore it, Bria. We'll leave. Nope. <laughs> why is it hiding under the chair? It seems to be sensitive to light. And that's probably why it's traveling through the vents. What do we do? It seems to be fixed on you. What does it want? Yummy, yummy skin. Ugh. What's my skin? It's pointing to your pocket. What? This? It must like candy. I don't think that's candy dripping from its mouth. Just give it to him. There you go. Now fuck off. <laughs> He's gone. That worked perfectly. I found out what happened to the pilots. 
Press play on the black box recorder. How long now? Really? That long? So, when does the storm show up? Who is he talking to? Just wait. Everything's in check. Wait. What's the smoke sensor going off in the bathroom? Uh, whoops. Hang on, there's someone at the door. What do you mean all the passengers have been eaten? We're not flying a mutated alligator here. Jeez, you're covered in blood. Quick, get in here now. Hello? I need instruction, over. Excuse me, who am I speaking to? Kobe? I'm sorry, did you say your name was Copycat? Look, I need... Wait, what the hell is that? No, don't go near it. I don't care if it looks hurt. It doesn't look safe. What the fuck? Stay away, get off me. Oh, God. That thing came through this hatch. But that means it would have had to walk right past you. It didn't seem to notice me. It was interested in someone named Mark. So it decided to eat everyone on the entire plane. Uh, skipped over Neeson. But, like, you know, it, it had its fill. It ate all the passengers, all the pilots, just to get to Mark. And then all of a sudden it was like, bah, that's enough. Maybe at that point they had already found Mark and it was like not a concern anymore. I would say this story is a little convoluted. The plot is getting is just getting stranger. The art's not great. There's a lot of typos. The writing is eh. But I will say that interest is building. If I wasn't committed to a playthrough, I don't know if I would have made it past the first part of the game. It just didn't feel as as compelling. But I'm, I'm kind of curious now what is actually going on. Because these monsters have obviously existed since back when uh, Mark still had his mom, when he was growing up in the house. I guess his dad could have been the monster at that time that killed us like 14 times in the house. But I don't know. These monsters might have existed since before his parents became monsters. That's my friend, Mark. I have to find him. Where could he be? There's a big door in the luggage compartment. I think this passage door leads straight into that room. Through the vents. I'm not going in there with that thing. Maybe you can draw it out of the out of the vents. With what? Try to find some more candy? Okay, I'll see what I can find. There's not that many different places to click around. I guess the lockers actually would be like the next best thing to check. But I imagine they're all locked. Supply closet? Now, what can I find in here? Hey, a fresh pack of batteries. Now I just need something to put them in. Uh, I don't know why we would need to charge up the camera, but now we, we have that. If if we need to take a picture of the monster, maybe we want to take a picture of the bloody murder scene. Try and accumulate some evidence here in case, uh, in case it's all cleaned up by the time anyone else takes a look at what actually happened on this plane. It's weird it left such a mess this time and not previously. Oh, I thought I would be able to... Like, that that singular interactable box would have something that I needed. Hmm. I can't just lure it out. I I thought maybe I could use the flash from the camera. I thought maybe that would prove useful. There's the hatch that I need to come through eventually. There's something in his pocket. Uh, it's a candy bar. I guess it could be useful. I'm so sorry, sir, but I need this. Did he get shredded to bits? Because this thing was trying to get at his candy. Just such a such a fiendish love of chocolate. I can't just lure it out right. Uh, it would come back in the vent while I'm in there. Need to knock it out somehow. Combine the candy and the camera? I don't Oh 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 I got I have to I have to lure it out. So if I put that oh I thought if I put it on the box and then it would come out and then I blast it with a camera flash. It seemed to me like I had a real good plan here. Okay, set up a timer then. I can set the camera on a timer and flash the little bastard. So, yes, do that then. Okay, I can't see it, but it is it is done. Maybe it will come out if I leave the candy bar here? I hope. The timer seems risky. I would recommend, like, staying with it. Staying with the camera and trying to manually flash it, like hide behind the boxes. That worked pretty well, though. You don't need that. You don't want to investigate the corpse of this dead monster. That seems like uh, you would want to know for certain that it was locked up somewhere where you could keep an eye on it. See what the hell is actually going on there. Do a little bit of, like, investigating. Nah. 
he kind of got a little like starry-eyed and fell over when there was a camera flash. He is probably taken care of forever. That seems like a job well done. No need to further concern ourselves with the monsters running around on the airplane here. Huh? Where did Neeson go? I hope that thing didn't get him. Someone needs to fly this plane. I'm sure he's fine. Ev historic evidence has shown us that when people disappear, they're always fine. They didn't all get eaten. What's that? It's a gun. Must be Neeson's. There's a note next to it. Bria, take this. You'll need it. And this will come in handy. But what happened to him? Seems kind of like a bullshit thing for that guy to do to bail like that. I, the way that this scene is framed makes me think that thing's gonna wake back up again. Mark! Please don't be dead. Mark! Huh? Bria? Oh, thank Christ, you're alive. Why? What happened? I, I can't remember anything. I must have blacked out. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I, I just have a nasty headache. Mark. You need to tell me what's going on here. Everyone is fucking gone. What? Really? Have we landed? No! Why does everyone keep saying that? They were fucking eaten. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They must have followed us on the plane. What followed us? The monsters. He clearly means the monsters. You should be asking, like, why? What do you know? What do you know about what's going on? Bria, calm down. I don't want us to become lunch. It almost fucking touched me. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. 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 Comedy. Calm. 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 The calmest. I'm calm. Calm as they come. Calm as a cucumber. They say. Just calm. Sea breezy. Hanging out. Desert oasis. Pina colada in hand. Umbrella overhead. Reclining chair. Calm as can be. I'm calm. I'm calm, Mark. So now that I'm so calm, now we've established how calm I am. Can we please talk about this? Now, have you seen these things? Yes, two of them. And what did they look like? Well, one looked like a child in a dark coat. It copied everything I said using my voice. Ah, copycat. You have names for them, Mark? What? That's its name. Copycat. Okay, so how the fuck do you know its name? And how do you know how it's spelt? Because the pilot was like, did you say your name was Copycat? And he spelt it like you would, like C-O-P-Y-C-A-T. And you have like your whole fantasy way of spelling it? Why? Why? <laughs> That's the name I gave it when I was a kid. Okay, so you named it. What did the other one look like? You're going to explain all of this to me later. It was Hee-Hoo. 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 <laughs> Huge. It had tubes in its neck and that big smile. Bria, we need to get off the plane now. Time to skydive. Why? Let's just find any remaining survivors and find out how to land this thing. There was the air marshal, but I have no idea where he is. See if you can find him. I'll head to the cockpit and radio for instructions. Uh, okay, thanks for completely leaving me behind. Great. Just, just swell. It must be the controls for the door. Uh, yeah, do you want to, do you want to use them, maybe? Okay. It's strange how infrequently there are sounds in this game, so it's kind of like, what's going on when, when a sound happens? That one was unclear that it was a door opening sound. Maybe, maybe Neeson just returned to his seat, you know? Something in his pocket, it's a candy bar. Uh, I didn't expect to be able to, like, infinitely gain candy bars from this thing. But, hey, I'll, I'll take it. It almost makes me think that there's a missing check in the game to let the, the programming know that you've already retrieved the candy bar once. Ooh, we're getting a little cutscene moment here. B Bria. Huh? Neeson. Where have you been? I was looking for you. I heard crying from the woman's bathroom. I thought it was you. I'm fine. I also found Mark, and... Is there something wrong? You look hurt. What happened to you? Rhea. Rhea, we, we won't s survive. What do you mean? We're almost there. We're gonna make it. For so long, I've been so weak. What are you talking about? Uh, in, in 
need to eat. Eason, Rhea, help me. Wait. That's why you're the only passenger left. It was you. You're one of those monsters. I'm so hungry. Just stay right there. Please help me. I, I can't. You're trying to trick me. Please let me eat. Stay right there or I'll shoot. If I don't shoot, I can give him the candy bar, right? But he also seems like he's a monster. I won't shoot. Neeson, I don't know what's going on. But you need to snap out of it. I'm, I'm so... Neeson! I'm so sorry, Bria. I wasn't myself. It sounds like you were being controlled. I radioed through to the control tower. We're gonna make... Ooh! Neeson, behind you! Well, things didn't go so well for him. Probably a good thing I didn't shoot him. Save those bullets for the actual monster, perhaps? No. Neeson! You really were an asshole. R.I.P. Neeson. Oh, I couldn't save him. Bria, this is Mark. Come to the cockpit. Well, could have tossed him a candy bar, maybe. Did he eat people? Was he actually a monster, or was he a person who was possessed? But, like... Where would all of that go? A person can't eat a person, let alone many peoples. Did you end up finding the air marshal? Bria? Yeah, I found him. Where is he? You could sure use his help right about now. He, uh, he didn't make it. I, I'm sorry to hear that, Bria, but we're in a heap of trouble. I've lost contact with the tower, and I have no fucking clue about what I'm doing. What do we do, Mark? Well... We wing it. Badoom ch Maybe your maybe your monster mom or dad knows how to fly a plane. You're not serious. No, I'm not. I have no fucking clue what to do. Great. At least we'll die laughing. Laughing. That might just work. What? We'll laugh the plane to safety? You're you're fucked in the head, Mark. You mentioned before that you'd seen a little man in a dark coat, right? Yeah, so? I need you to bring him to me. Mark, are you out of your goddamn mind? There's no time to explain. Just go get him. Well, good thing it's knocked out. No, oh, I thought we were going to lure him back in again. Oh, I can't even take the hatch. Oh, I guess it probably wants to force me towards a cutscene or something. But uh, I thought we were going to lure him and we, like it would be intentional to retrieve this candy bar. And every single time, it would just be like... Oh, what's that in your pocket? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's, I, I need this more than you do. Oh, what's that? What's in your pocket? Oh, a candy bar. I need it more. What's that in your pocket? Oh, I. what's in your pocket? Like, just over and over again, like, cyclically, every single time we look at this dead corpse, we happen to find one more pocket with one more candy bar. The cycle continues. I told you that we were going to need this eventually. He's stay dead. Maybe put a bullet in its head then, if that's... I guess Mark didn't say dead or alive, did he? I don't want you waking up on the way back. Here, now are you going to explain to me why do you want this? What do you want this thing for? He has a signal booster in his mouth. What the fuck? And before you say, how do you know about all this? I'll tell you, these aren't real monsters. Not real? Then why did I just watch one eat the air marshal? Is that what happened to him? Yes. I'm sorry. These things are manufactured. You mean people make these? In like a, a, a warehouse? Is this some kind of sick joke? If we make it out of this alive, I'll explain the rest. Okay, I've boosted the signal. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? This is Control Tower 12. How can I assist? You have no idea how good it is to hear your voice. So, here's the short story. There's only two passengers on this flight, which also means there are no pilots, and we need, we are in need of instructions. We read you. Stand by for instructions. No need for further clarification about what's going on. Straight to emergency mode. I like the immediate, like, call to action uh, position that you've taken there. Strange that not a single question was raised. <laughs> Make sure all remaining passengers are seated with their safety belts. Bria, I'm going to need you to take a seat and a co-pilot, uh, co-pilot this for me. Can do. I was what I was born to do. Okay, Bria, are you ready? Wish I had a smoke right about now. I think it probably doesn't matter. I think you can probably smoke if you want. 
I'll buy you some when we land. Oh, she did say it was her last. <laughs> Funny, Mark. Okay, Control Tower, we're ready. Lock the fuck in like flying a Megazord. We made it! <laughs> ah, it went great. Who knew landing a plane was so damn easy? Barely. We were questioned by police on the events that had occurred. I couldn't remember anything. I blacked out. But Bria didn't say a word. They let us go once they saw the CCTV footage. For now, anyway. Did monsters actually show up on the cameras? But why was Bria so quiet? Does she know something? Or did she see something? Hopefully, I'll have some answers soon. Just kicking, kicking back on the subway. So, Mark, where are we going? It is my understanding that there are like four sections to this game, and so we are heading towards the fourth section. So here will it'll be a good place to put a stop to things. Ridiculous the way it just brushed over emergency landing a plane. I guess it would be hard to do that in a dramatic, fun way in like this style of game. But at the same time, there was it was like one sentence. And then we landed the plane. <laughs> like, it just seemed a little too uh, oversimplified, maybe. That's fine. I'm a little bit curious. I don't know what's going on at all. We'll, we'll just have to see where this, where this heads next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.